I was putting on every day. I understood that I wanted to be successful, so I had to look successful. If you want to be an executive, you dress like one every day. So I don't care what I was going through, I was going to be dressed always. Even up until recently, we were like homeless. We were living in a motel behind the apartments where we were living before. Didn't miss one day of school if I had to walk there. Still making the grades and nobody ever knew. No one ever knew. Yes, it does start from the inside out, but if you ain't got the inside right all the way, sometimes you need to go ahead and start from the outside until you get the inside together. Throughout the duration of my childhood, there were many dark situations from emotional abuse, from physical abuse. The state had to step in many instances. When I got to high school, you can stay after till like six o'clock and you do like activities and stuff like that and they provide your ride home. And because of my living situation, I took advantage of that and I stayed after school and did everything possible. Everything, anything possible. They said, Chris, we need you to do hall decorating. Chris, we need you to send this. We, we need you to do that. I was there and it was my haven away from home. I've been through so much in life and I always just kind of pushed it under the rug like everything's A-OK, -okay, but that's not my reality. There has been so many instances in my life where people have said, I'm going to do this and don't do it. I wanted to be a man of my word. I plan to go to law school. I want to be a litigator and ultimately a judge. Judge are very powerful people in society. So to be able to have that kind of power and to impart upon people in a positive way, that's what I want to do. My grandmother always tells the story, when I came home from the hospital, she was the first face that I saw. And my mom has been there in and out, but my grandmother has been that rock for me. When you have somebody that loves you unconditionally, when you have that kind of love from a person, I don't care what you go through, you'll be all right. She said, if you don't know how to do anything else in this world, you learn how to read and you learn how to write. When you do those two things proficiently, you can be a chemist, you can be a doctor, you can be an attorney. If you do those two things well, you could do almost anything in this world.